Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my blog. Alright, okay, so I'm filming this at the end of September. So this one is going to come out in October, I think. No, no, it'll still be end of September when this comes out, so I can't do my September roundup yet. It's annoying. <laughs> It'd be nice because I don't really have much of an idea for what I want to talk about in this one. I, I kind of do and I kind of don't. Um, so it's sort of going back to, I guess, book stuff, which when has it ever left book stuff this year? Um, so uh, some of my booking plans for the rest of the year, I guess. Um, so the next free promo is going to be the Hyena Boy one, which will be the second week of October, if you guys have been paying attention, because I've been really good. I've been putting my uh, promo schedule at the end of my vlogs, um, and that will keep going for the rest of the year, at least until after um, the final promo, which is mid-December. Um, so yeah, the next promo I've got coming up is Hyena Boy, so I really probably should be starting some sort of campaign for Hyena Boy. But next month is October, which is, you know, the month of Halloween and scary stuff, and I've got two, uh, I've got two horror books. <laughs> Dark fantasy horror books. Um, so I'm kind of at this point thinking that I want to do a sort of picture campaign for uh, Broken Before Use and Welcome to Mary's Vale, that kind of riffs on the whole, you know, it's October and it's Halloween and these are horror books. Um, I, I have no idea exactly how scary they are as horror books um, because, you know, when you sort of write them yourself, and edit them yourself, you kind of get to a point where you're a little desensitized to um, the events that you, you're reading about, even though, like, I, I've written these events as things that would genuinely disturb me or scare me if I were, say, watching it in somebody else's or reading it in somebody else's um, work, but I've done it in a way where I'm not necessarily giving like lots and lots of details because the scariest thing is the a human's own imagination. So you're more at an advantage giving less details and letting your readers kind of fill in the blanks when you're writing horror than giving too many details and risk it not being scary for anybody other than yourself. Um, that's very much the approach that I took, but because I've kind of taken that approach, I don't have a very good guide as to necessarily how scary it is. I um, mean, obviously there were there have been bits and pieces where I have sort of given a bit more of a description um, just to sort of guide the imagination a little bit more. Because <laughs> you can't like leave it all up to the imagination if you've got like a very clear idea in your mind of how something is supposed to be. Um, but yeah, no, they are horror slash dark fantasy books and it is October and I do kind of want to do a sort of Halloween picture campaign. Um, what I need is props and other bits and pieces that I can use and utilize in order to create this scary, <laughs> this scary Halloween appropriate um, campaign, uh, which I'm hoping to to, to go through on. Um, or to do through uh, Twitter and through Instagram. Um, it's mostly a Instagram concept because obviously I'm trying to use that a little bit more to get a little bit more interest in my in my work and in my books. I'm really not sure how well it's working at the moment. I'm really not sure how well anything is working at the moment. Um, every time I feel like I'm getting a little bit of progress in the right direction, it sort of stops or hiccups or, or whatever. So it's so I'm, I'm very much in that kind of September has not been a particularly <laughs> great month <laughs> compared to some of the other months this year. Um, but like, it, it could just be the time of year. It could be various other things. I mean, I am, I've been back at work, you know, since mid, um, since mid August. So 
the amount of time that I've got to dedicate to doing the various things that I was doing that might have been helping. Um, I have less of that at the moment, although I am sort of trying to do as much as I can. You know, I, there's only so many hours in the day, and if four days a week I am at the day job, then there's less time again. So, yeah, it, it's one of those cases at the moment where I don't know why September has been a bit of a slower month, and I'm trying to come up with ways of hopefully angling um, October into being a bit of a better month. It's kind of a shame that um, the Dominic Sons books came out in August and I had their initial launch in in August because else there's a chance they could have been the October free books um, and that would have worked out so much better. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, you know, because I was waiting on the covers, um, they are, you know, they, they were released when they were released. Um, there's nothing wrong with the fact that they've been released then, uh, but it does mean that I can't utilise October for them this year. Fingers crossed, maybe things will work out uh, next year. They can they can get there, get a free promo during um, during October, and utilise the whole uh, Halloween thing a little bit better. Um, but in the meantime, just just trying to do what I can with what I can and they're not particularly expensive books if you're going for the Kindle option they are only like 99p on Kindle <laughs> all my books are only 99p on Kindle um, and they're the cheapest equivalent in, in all the other territories that they're in as well because as I've said before I do go through and I manually alter that now so it's not the equivalent of 99p it is no it's the lowest price um, so obviously we're in the middle of the pandemic I'm trying to reach a mature young adult audience, which is like 16 to 35 year olds. Um, obviously people who are older than that can certainly read it and enjoy it. There's no reason why they can't. I know a uh, number of people who have reviewed uh, some of my books so far have been older than that. I wouldn't necessarily advise younger than 16 um, for some of my books, uh, just because of the language that I use and some of the imagery that I use isn't necessarily appropriate. Um, for anyone below the age of 16 um, and I, I'm sure some people would probably argue well, no I, I would say that's fine for 16 year olds um, you know I, I, I would say if you have a particularly because I know what I was reading at like 14 <laughs> <laughs> I, I very much know I mean even, even younger than that because I think um I think it was before my parents separated, so that would have made me like 12, 13 the first time I read uh, uh, the first book in the, the Ramesses collection of books, and that has some quite graphic moments in it um, that were definitely not age appropriate for little preteen me, but you know, um, so yeah, I, that's, that's why I kind of like, I'm not aiming for anybody under the age of 16. Um, I am aiming for a mature young adult audience, um, so 16 plus rather than, you know, teens and young, young adults. Because that's the thing, young adult, young adult quite often gets roped in with teen, which uh, quite often makes it gear younger, which I think is kind of unfair on young adult because young adults are... 16 plus not 13 plus um so like a lot of these places where you're trying to sort of you know put put your put your work so that more people can sort of see it and access it have teen and young adult as the category rather than teen as a category for itself and then young adult as a separate category or even just teen and young adult and then mature young adult uh would probably so you get a little bit better on some of these places. Um, so it's a little bit annoying because books like Heine Boy and The Colours I See are definitely mature and adult because I do use a lot of fairy language in it um, just because it captures the characters a lot better and it captures the situation a lot better. Um, Echo and the Dollmaker Sons book don't use quite as much explicit language. There's a little bit here and there, definitely in um, Broken Before Use and Welcome to Mary's Dale, but it's it's few and far between in comparison to how it is used um, 
<laughs> in the Never Eating collection, uh, just because, you know, just because, to be honest, there's no specific reason. It just, it fits the tone of the, of the book a little bit better. But then in the Don't Make a Son's book, they are horror books. And although the language might necessarily be um, inappropriate for my, you know, anybody under the age of 16, some of the imagery might be inappropriate. <laughs> um, you know, just because it's horror imagery, um, although then again, it's not graphic. Um, likewise, Echo, it's not overly graphic. So those three books probably could, you could argue, are teen to young adult, um, provided nobody gets too upset about the occasional swear words that are in there or thinks that the the, the horror is too graphic or the violence is too graphic or anything like that but again I, I don't think I don't personally think that they are um, I think they, they could just skate through whereas the Ned Rating books are definitely mature young adult um, in terms of the language in terms of the themes in terms of the things that are you know shown um, okay again I'm not overly overly graphic necessarily but it's definitely not aimed at you know your 13 to 16 year old part of the teen to young adult demographic um it is mature young adults so yeah it's all it's all that kind of sort of fuzzy sort of grayness um really so yeah <laughs> and I, I know this has gotten really sidetracked again from whatever it was I was talking about and I think I was talking about Halloween promotions for, <laughs> for you and welcome to Mary's Dale, which has nothing at all to do with any of those other stuff um but yeah no I've, I've got a few plans I've got a few ideas as to things I want to do with my with my horror books over over October um which might produce something, it might not produce something. Um, at this moment in time, I'm just trying to throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. As I said before, um, I still enjoy my day job. I still love my day job. I just want to be a writer so much more now that I know what it's going to be like. And now I've got a good idea of as how I can make it work and, and how to sort of be as productive as possible in you know whatever time space that, that I've got um so yeah I'm I'm kind of sort of itching to sort of see things improving and it gets kind of frustrating when it's sort of like you, you get like it will improve a little bit and then it sort of tapers off and then it will improve a little bit and it'll sort of taper off I need consistency I don't have consistency right now and that's the thing that I think I'm finding the most frustrating lack of consistency and a lack of reviews on that note, anybody out there who has read any of my books and hasn't left a review for them yet, if you have enjoyed my work, please, please leave a review. Um, they are so, so, so important to um, to new writers, to indie writers, because, you know, it, it, a lot of people don't want to take a chance on an unknown and they especially don't want to take a chance on an unknown that hasn't got any reviews um and you know th there needs to be something to sort of encourage those reviews or encourage people to uh to take a chance and it, a lot of the time it's nobody wants to be the first person to review something so uh yeah it's it's a long slow hard progress and um yeah, so if, if you've read and you haven't reviewed yet, please review. Please. Just for me. It'd be so nice. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, I think I've babbled tangent, tangentingly enough um, for now. So I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. Um, I hope you found this one sort of interesting, even though it's sort of gotten itself sidetracked again. Hope you're looking forward to seeing what I'm going to be doing with my Halloween campaign for the Dollmaker Songs books. Um, and I will see you guys next time. See ya! <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!